funny thing because I feel as though even though they, they keep these things secret, but I mean, when when one one of the guys like um somebody on his team, uh, because uh, uh Kose is uh he he's the head coach right for the uh the Japan team. So when 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 somebody of his teams executes a technique, uh you know in competition, it's all film and we see it. From there, we could slow it down and we could figure it out. You know, like maybe I can't figure it out, but I could take it to my coach who has more experience than me, you know, sit down and tell him, hey, we do Uchimata this way. But, you know, I saw this in competition and then we could um, dissect it and, and, and take the time to figure it out. And the funny thing is I started, um, um, well, prior to being locked down uh, when I was training at my club, I started filming myself, like my randoris. <laughs> And the reason why I started filming myself was because I wanted to um, assess my my current level of skill, my, like to, to find my weaknesses and to find also my strengths. And when I did that, I filmed it and then I brought the video home. I started watching it. And then when I, when I slowed it down, it makes a big difference. Like if you really watch tape and you slow it down, you could really see like what's going on because you have time to think. And I believe that that could be done too with uh, any uh, any footage that you get uh, from from competition, if the angle is 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 uh, you know is clear enough. So, yeah, and also, also when you watch yourself, like sometimes you think you're doing something, and then when you watch yourself, you see like, oh no no no, that's that's not good enough. Or uh, for example, I was always very defensive, like I had a very wide stance and almost hunched over. And then people would tell me the same thing. You're very tense. That's why you're, you, uh, yeah, you're trying to execute the technique and then you end up being very far away and countered. Then I looked at myself and I'm like, but no, I, I have a straight back. I can see, but then it, it turns out it's so true. And not so, not only it's true, it's very, uh, like to a very high degree of what they were saying. I really hunched over really wide stance to avoid foot sweeps. Um, but then when I tried to go in, it's uh, it's impossible because and I thought that they, they had their hand like researched out, but it's actually me. So you, everyone, this is for everyone. Re record your randori and then watch it. Don't, not to post it, but to see where you are lacking, why you couldn't you know execute these techniques, why you were countered, all of it. Everyone should see themselves uh, doing randori. Oh yeah, and and you know like this is the and I got this idea from uh, John Danaher. Because he was talking about like how essentially in five years, if you film yourself and you make a, an accurate assessment of uh, your, your strengths and your weaknesses, and the best way to do that, according to him, was to film yourself. Uh, because even if you ask your coach and you ask your teammates, like it's their, their, their vision of it might be skewed. You know, they might think something, but it might not be that, or they might not give you a whole picture or, you know, just because they don't. You know, they're not really there focused on you paying attention. But if you film yourself and you have, um, you have your, your fundamentals are strong enough, you could watch yourself and really, um, even though you know what to do, but when you watch yourself, you're like, and you think you're doing it when you're in the, in the heat of the moment, but you're actually not. That's when I realized for, for myself, I'm like, I, I just, I slow motion when I get thrown. It's like, obviously, if I'm doing well against the guy, I could see I'm doing something good, no problem. But when I get like, I get, when I get smashed, that's when I'm like, okay, I got to figure that out. So then I rewind it, I slow it down. And then, now I'm watching. I'm like, and then in my mind, I'm like, okay, I know I have to kill the sleeve. I know I have to grab this, da, 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 da. what happened? What went wrong? And then from there, there's like these little details that I discover about myself. And I'm like, oh, holy smokes. Like if I could just, and then the, the mistakes repeat itself with other, um, uh, you know, other, uh, other opponents. And then from there, that's what I realized. And what I do is that I like, uh, let's say I'm fighting, uh, for example, if I, if I had a Randori match with you, <clears throat> so I would film it. And then from there, I would, um, I would create a file and it would be Hong versus Shadi. And I would write the date. And then from there, I, I would watch the video and I would open a, a, a notepad and then start writing let's say match match number one and then i would take notes 